Exodus 17 and verse 11. Uh, when you are leaving a place, you, you wave goodbye. Praise the Lord. Amen. You wave and you tell them, I see you when I see you. Mm -hmm. Amen. The revelation in here is this. You are waving goodbye to your troubles. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, you brought your troubles at the feet of Elohim. Mm -hmm. You brought your troubles at the feet of Jesus. Yes. And if you understand how waving works, when you leave in, you turn back and you say what? Goodbye. I see you. Amen. So in the hour of worship, there will come a place and a time where we wave first to Jehovah Nisi. Right? And then when we have acknowledged Jehovah Nisi, we then turn and we look down. Amen? Amen? And we wave at our troubles. Lord. And we say, goodbye. All right. Amen. I see you no more. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. You see, listen. Uh, 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 what is a footstool? You, you, the, the Bible says he shall make your enemy your wife. Okay. What is that? It's something that you put your feet on. Amen. So what God is telling you is this. No mountain is to what? And when the mountain becomes your footstool, you look down and say, goodbye, cancer. Goodbye. Talk to me, somebody. You, you, you know what you're going through. So you tell that issue goodbye. Goodbye. Amen. Because it has become... Amen. Your what? Your footstool. And when something becomes your footstool, that means you are at liberty to leave every mess on your feet there. And when you come to that place of realization, when you realize it, you walk in confidence. Come on, somebody. You see, what's on your feet can also cause weight. Yes. It becomes heavy. Yes. Yes. But when you get there, yes. you say to that stuff, goodbye. Hallelujah. So the Bible states here that Moses went out to battle. And in verse 11, it says that, and so I was when Moses held up his hand. Can I get you to say amen? amen? What happened? Moses held up his what? Hands. Yes. That Israel prevailed. Every time Moses did what? Held up his hand. Yes, sir. Israel what? Prevailed. Prevail. So the revelation in here is this. Your hands got to be waved up. Yes. Your hands got to keep on what? Waving. <laughs> the Bible said, look up to the hills. Yes. From whence coming my help. My help comes from the Lord who made what? The heavens and the earth. Praise the Lord. So the person next to you has come for a very special and specific reason. Only to keep your hands up. Yes, sir. I wish I had Glory. folks yeah. up in here yeah. who understood yeah. how to tell something good yeah. about. Yes, when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Yeah. What God is saying, if you keep on looking up, victory is yours. Yes. If you look down, you fail. Yes. If you think I'm making up, somebody saw Jesus on the boat. And the Bible tells me that when he saw Jesus on the boat, and Jesus bid him to come forward, 
Because his eyes was on Jesus, he walked on water. If you keep on looking forward to the hills, you will arrive. But then the same Bible tells him that he left his eyes of Jesus. And something happened. He began to what? So Moses hands up, Israel is winning. He drops his hand, Israel is losing. God is telling you, somebody is sitting next to you who has come to lift you up. I wish I, I, I wish I had folks who knew how this too. Okay. Verse 12. But Moses, hands became what? Tired. There is a brother in here, there is a sister in here who, who, whose hands have gotten tired. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And you do not have the strength to lift it up. Hallelujah. But most you you there, verse 12. But Moses' hands became what? Heavy. Mm-hmm. Meaning tired. So they took a what? <laughs> they. Look, look at them and say, You are the they. <laughs> I, I like that. Say, You are the they. You see, I've told you, God has sent somebody up in your camp. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Where are we? But Moses' hands became what? Heavy. So they took a stone and bit what? Put it under him. And he sat on it. And Aaron and who? Did what? And the other on the other side. And his hands were what? Steady Steady until the going down. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. What did I just say? The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Listen to me. This is this is a prophecy. This is a revelation. There is somebody that you are so far. And the reason why you feel like it is so far is because your hands getting tired. But God has sent an angel to lift you higher. And when your hands are lifted, thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank you. Thirteen. So Joshua defeated the Amalek. Joshua did what? Your hands lifted. What's going to happen? Victory. Victory. Drop your hands. You defeat. Your hands lifted. What's going to happen? Victory. You drop your hands. What's going to happen? Defeat. Your hands lifted. What's going to happen? Victory. Ha. Your hands could also be your eyes. Because he said, I will look up to the hills. From whence come my help. You see, looking down is looking at the problems. Amen? Amen. What did I just say? Looking down is looking at the problem. And oftentimes, if you keep on looking at the problem, the problem overtakes you. Now, it is important to recognize the problem. Because problem is trouble. And the Bible states that when trouble comes, there must be something. That is, you must pick up the phone and call him. Because the Bible says, call me in a time of trouble. So in, in other words, what God is saying is he's winning. By the phone. He's only waiting to find out when trouble will come. So you recognize trouble and what you do? You pick up the phone. And you say, Jesus, I'm not panicking. No, 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 I'm not. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Jesus, I want you to know that the person who you told me to call has arrived. Yes. Amen. His name is Strava. Yes. Yes. Are, are you with me? Yes. The Bible said, call on him yes. in the time of what? Trouble. Trouble. Meaning, God, God said, you know, I am just going to stay here just for one reason. Amen. To have trouble come. So when trouble comes, something going to compel me to come. 
You see, trouble and Jesus can be in the same place. <laughs> trouble got to go. You better look at somebody and say, trouble got to go. Oh, say it right. Say it like me. Say, trouble got to go. Jesus and trouble, they, they both can be in the same place. Light comes in, darkness has to walk. Trouble comes one way, how many ways? He's going to be set. So Jesus said, Call me in the time of trouble. Yes. So you must recognize mm -hmm. when trouble comes. Hallelujah. And when trouble comes, uh, you, don't get excited. Mm -hmm. Don't get all troubled. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. All right. yes. Amen. Yes. And you dial the number. J. E. 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 And sometimes when, when, when you're all shaky, you, you you forget the S. Hey, come on. Yeah. And, and because you, sometimes in time of trouble, you, 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 you're all confused. But that's all right. Yes, all right. You might not want to say Jesus because there might be a secret code that you have. Hey, yes. You just might want to say Elohim. Yes. Hallelujah. I've shut that. Yes, sure. Yes. Come on, somebody. All right. So if you call that number, J E S. Yes. J -E -S. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And uh, Jesus says this. He said, mm. you know what? Mm. I've been waiting for this phone call. Mm. Well, glory. Amen. Because uh, the Bible says in the Chronicles that the eyes of the Lord move to and forth. Yes. Seeking him, yes. he may show himself strong. Yes. You see? Yes. So Jesus, he, he's just, just really, uh, relaxed and waiting. He's looking. Ah, who, who will call me? Who, who will call me? Who, who will call me? Amen. And when you call him in time of trouble, he's coming. But I got something better for you. If you want to really excite Jesus, call him in praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't it? Because you, you're telling Jesus that I know for a fact it is done. So, I'm praising him before the Thank battle God. is what? Over. Yes. Yes. The song says, don't yes. wait till the battle is over. When do you praise him? Shout right now. Now. Shout now. Man. So, the person standing, sitting next to you is your era. Yes. Is your herd. He's going to lift your hands up. Amen. She's going to lift you up. And when you get there, keep your eyes on the price. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And when you do that, victory is yours. I will look up to the hills. From whence cometh my help. And when, when you hear help, you know trouble is in trouble. Yes. Yes. Trouble is a dream. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Amen. So we wave our hands. To who? Jesus. Jesus. We wave our hands to Jesus. We wave our hands. And we say goodbye. Trouble. Goodbye, trouble. Goodbye, trouble. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up on Jesus. Amen. Don't give up Thank you, Lord. on your praise. Thank you. Thank you. Because trust me, it is well. Amen. That's what she told the prophet. How's your son doing? She said, it is well. Amen. So in the storm, during the storm, we shall always say, it is well. Ah, it is well. It is well. Look at somebody again and tell them, it is well. It is well. Ah, it is well. Turn around again, find somebody it is else. Well. Say, say, it is well. It is well. It is well. Look at them in the it is well. Say it is well. It is well. Because it is well. Because it is well. I wave my hands. 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 I wave
Amen. Stand up, everybody, and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, stand up and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.